Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week I'm filming a Q&A for you guys. I haven't done any chatting tutorials for you guys in a long time. I'm so sorry I look like a big lump of shit right now. It's so hot in here, I'm like sweating my tits off. Oh my god, my hair is crazy. I just tied it in a bun because my back is sweating so bad. I'm wearing my robe. I got this robe personalised from Avon. Look, it says my name. It says my name. Nothing ever, ever says my name because I've got such a weird freaking spelling name. Thanks, mum. <laughs> I have filmed this makeup tutorial for you guys, so if it's not up yet, then it's gonna be up on my channel soon. Make sure you subscribe to my channel because I upload videos twice a week. So this Q&A is gonna be from the questions I got from Twitter. So if you're not following me on Twitter, make sure you are following me over there. It's literally just X Lee. I'm trying to get a bit more active on Twitter. It's so hard to like know what to do on Twitter because it's a bit like you're just talking to the air and you can only say it in like a little small sentence kind of thing. Yeah, I'm trying to get used to it. So also if you missed my last video, I did do a giveaway and the winner of the giveaway is, I'm gonna put their name right here. Congratulations congratulations girl you've won thank you so much for entering guys i'm going to be doing so many more giveaways as well i've got so many more milestones i want to reach for youtube so giveaways are coming make sure you subscribe to be entered and to know about any future giveaways that i'm hosting 100k here we come my goal is literally to get that 100k plaque you know that youtube plaque and i'll be like done i'll be so happy with that so let's get started with this q a okay the first question i'm going to answer is from nicole she asked me do i have another job other than being an influencer if not how did i make the decision to be a full-time influencer so basically if you guys don't know i was a makeup artist for six years i worked at mac it was until last year august that i think i was on about 40k on instagram and i worked three days at mac and then also doing social media as well as doing freelance makeup so it was kind of like working three jobs at once and it was really hard to spend time with my boyfriend my family as well as juggle everything i hate the fact that i had to work every single week weekend and just have like one weekend off whereas my boyfriend works like a monday to friday job so i'd hardly ever see him if you guys want to know about my max story give me a thumbs up for this video and comment down below if you want to know about the full story but basically i kept getting in trouble for like all this stupid stuff and i just wasn't that passionate about mac anymore and it made me feel really sad because there was a time where like mac was like my be all and end all like, i love mac so much and then you know eventually when you work for somewhere for a long time you don't feel appreciated and just things just start grinding your gears you know and then one day I literally was in McDonald's on my lunch and I was like, I've had enough. I literally just wrote out my notice letter on my note on my phone and I told my sister to print it out for me and I was like, that's it guys, I'm gonna hand in my notice. When I left, I didn't think that I was gonna do social media full time. I thought that I was gonna sign up to be with like an agency. It's called like the Bureau, if you guys don't know, but in the UK, they have loads of different agencies for makeup artists and it's like an app on your phone and you can just say what shifts you wanna do, you can cancel on the day and it's really, really flexible. There's no contract, you have zero hours, up to you when you wanna work. So. I left in August and then I thought in January I'll start my new job with that agency because I thought I'll have like to Christmas off and I'll plan to have my surgery and all that stuff anyways. And then literally from August to December I had a big growth on my Instagram. I hit 100k on December the 27th, I know because I have it written down on my phone and it was just such a big milestone for me. Then I thought, let me just see if I can do this full time. And here I am, not even a year later, but I'm doing this full time, I'm really enjoying it. The funny thing about being an influencer is you can't just wake up and be like, I wanna be an influencer today, you know? It's a lot of work that goes into it. Not everybody can be an influencer. It's kind of like, not that like you're chosen to be, but you have to put in a lot of hard work, but at the same time, if you're willing to put in the hard work I guarantee you it will come it might not be as quickly as some people it might take longer it might be shorter but it's up to you if you're really passionate about it and you're really committed to it I honestly believe that you can do whatever you put your mind to oh god that was a long one Greg sorry <laughs> so my next question is from Angela and she asked what are my tips for editing Instagram videos I find it hard to fit everything inside one minute let me tell you the struggle guys I used to be so so bad I was like how am I gonna fit everything into this one minute video it's so hard guys but the more and more you edit it's going to be so much easier but what i've learned when filming my videos i only turn on the camera for certain sections of my makeup so i won't just leave the camera rolling for ages and ages because one that's going to make your life so hard to edit two it's going to waste up so much memory and so much of your battery and all that jazz but basically when you kind of get into it you'll know okay i need to turn on the camera and film this bit turn off the camera do stuff off camera turn on the camera so basically when you go into edit you won't have that many clips to edit and it'll make life so much easier for you guys i always try to avoid speeding up things as much as i can like some bits i will speed up some bits i leave slow and that leaves more of a dramatic effect if i get over a thousand likes in this video then i will film
film a how I film my Instagram videos and all my tips and everything there. A lot of people ask me what is my favourite lip product and I have so many favourite lip products. My favourite liquid lipstick is 88 by Lipland um, and that's in collaboration with Ambrizi. That's my favourite, favourite shade of all time. And then my favourite lip gloss is Peanut Butter by NYX. That is my favourite. It's an intense butter gloss and it's so creamy and so pigmented and so smooth and yes, I love it. Oh no, I have another favourite. I love this lip gloss. This is from Tarte and it's called Obvi. It's just so glossy. It doesn't feel sticky at all. It almost feels like water when you put it on your lips but it's super glossy. I hate it when you get lip glosses that are not glossy and they're just freaking sticky AF. I always have to do this in case I get like lipstick all over my teeth. Mais, I think it's Mais, I don't know how to pronounce it, M-A-I-S, she or he, I don't know, I don't know if it's he or she. They asked me what is my favourite thing about each social media platform. I don't know, I'm kind of torn between Snapchat and Instagram. I'll probably say my favourite one of all time is Instagram because I'm on there every day, like always scrolling and I could be on there for hours and hours and hours, where Snapchat, I'll just watch my certain people that I watch every day. Instagram, people always put their best life on Instagram, which is really inspiring actually. I quite like it when I see like, oh, goals, like goals. You have to take it with a pinch of salt because you know it's all edited and face tuned and photoshopped to the high heavens, but I actually really like it because I love seeing a lot of inspiration. Whereas on Snapchat, I really love it because that's when people can be themselves. The only thing about Snapchat, I feel like you have to find certain people to watch. Not everybody is really good on Snapchat. Some people are really, really boring, even though I really like them on Instagram, but then when I actually add them on Snapchat, I'm like, girl, you're so boring like yawn if you're not following me on snapchat i upload on there daily and people say i'm funny on snapchat so <laughs> follow me on snapchat x3 and then on twitter i'm trying to get into twitter i feel like it's a really good way to complain <laughs> if you want to complain to brands I played to nando's once and they gave me a chicken check so they gave me like a free chicken voucher. <laughs> I think the quickest way to ask me a question is also on Twitter because I don't have as many followers on there. If people tweet me, I can reply a lot quicker. And then Facebook as well. I just literally just made a Facebook like a month ago. So I'm still quite new to Facebook, but I know definitely with Facebook, there's like a different type of audience. There's a lot of like an older crowd kind of thing or a really, really young crowd. Comment down below, what is your favorite social media platform? Let me know. Oh my God, I forgot about YouTube. The reason why I love YouTube so much is that honestly, it can engulf you. Like you could be on YouTube for like the whole day and just watch YouTube videos and I love the fact that you can get to know people you can find funny videos instructional videos especially with me as well I'm so bad at like reading reviews and stuff like that I much prefer watching reviews seeing things swatched live not live but you know okay Miranda asked if I had any superpower what superpower would it be I would have the power of clicking my fingers and doing anything possible <laughs> I would love to be able to like travel through time or travel to different destinations without having to get on a long fucking 20 hour flight just by being like i want to be in australia now i want to be in dubai wouldn't that be so cool and it's free as well yeah <laughs> imagine that life guys click your finger and the table's clean yes click your finger and there's a drink yes click your fingers and there's a burger yes you're trying to say you can fly you can be invisible yeah have everything. is that when people say you have three wishes what would you wish for and you wish for 101 wishes yeah <laughs> Officially PKV asks, what are some tips you can give for us new freelance makeup artists out there? So tips that I'll give you as a freelance makeup artist is try to use social media to impact on your freelance job because social media is such an amazing thing. It's free. You don't have to be very professional really to have an Instagram account. You just need to make sure, keep it purely about your work. I know so many people that literally just get clients just from Instagram. That That is crazy to me that you can do all of that just through social media and it's free as well so definitely use that to your advantage also depending on the path you want to go down as a makeup artist you definitely need to assist as well so basically that's using your time for free um in order to help other makeup artists and that will also help you build connections as well whenever they have a job that they can't do they'll pass it down to you so it's definitely worth emailing some makeup artists and just say like hey if you ever need an assistant i'll happily come for free Lori Oli. I'm so sorry if I don't pronounce your name properly. She asked, what animal would you turn Greg into if you could? I'll turn you into a little monkey. Because today me and Greg went to Asda and I had this little monkey teddy bear that I was carrying around because I was so cold inside the supermarket. And I was carrying it around. I was like, this looks like Greg so much. He had a big ass. He had big ears. He had a big nose. I was like, yeah, this is my boyfriend. <laughs> I would love to turn you into a little minion, if that's even an animal. They're the little minion characters. They're so cute. All they do is just serve their master. So yeah, I'll turn Greg into a little minion. <laughs> but hey, minion's really evil. 
Okay, so Amber White, she asked me, if you decide to have more cosmetic surgery, what would you have done? Oh, girl, what wouldn't I have done? I would have everything. <laughs> I love cosmetic surgery. And I know so many bloggers are so against, like, promoting plastic surgery or cosmetic surgery and stuff, but most of those people have work done themselves and they just don't say anything. Okay! So if money wasn't an option and I could have the best plastic surgeon and anything done to me, I would have a BBL. If you don't know what BBL is, it's called a Brazilian butt lift. And I feel like so many celebrities had it done. I feel like all the Kardashians had it done. Basically, it's where they do liposuction. So they take out fat from like your belly, your back, or your armpit flab and all that stuff. And they'll put it inside your bum. And they'll make your bum really nice and curvy and that to donk a donk donk ass, that Nicki Minaj booty, yeah, that Amber Rose booty. And then I also want to get my boobies done. I'm going to get my boobies done. I think I'm going to do it next year. I want to look down and be like, hey, mama, she duck, yes. Crystal asked me, what is my favourite Vietnamese food? I actually don't like Vietnamese food that much. What? My favourite is probably bang bao. It's basically like a little small deemed fluffy bread and then inside it's got like a little small egg in there and it's got like almost like the stuffing of like a spring roll well my mum's one is really really good not not all my mouths are nice but my mum she makes so fucking so good my mouth's watering imagine like a burger but the bun is all the way around it i'll put a photo of what it looks like up here and i also like vip baguettes but not all of them are nice as well that's the only thing about vietnamese food i feel like it's very inconsistent you know everybody has such different formulas there's no like set taste do you know what i mean like every vietnamese restaurant is very very different there's only one vietnamese restaurant that i like that's near me and apart from that i don't like anything except for my mum's because all the other vietnamese food i taste i'm like this is giraffe this is bland. This has too much lemongrass. And I hate lemongrass. And I don't like fish sauce. And I feel like everybody loves fish sauce and sriracha. And I don't like any of those. I'm so picky, guys. So picky. Miranda asks, if you could go any one place in the world, where would you go next? And what would you do there? If I could go anywhere and money wasn't an option, I would definitely go to Australia. I would love to go to Australia Zoo. Because that's how really sad. I just really don't want to go to the zoo and just see where Steve Irwin died. Is that where he died? I don't know. Lena Babe has asked me, what is the one thing I have on my bucket list. I don't even really have a bucket list. I know I want to be verified on Instagram. Does that count as being on my bucket list? <laughs> well, I would love to do um, skydiving. I really want to do it in Dubai. I don't know. It just seems so amazing. Like everything's man-made and you get to see like the palm islands and stuff okay karina asked me what do i love the most about my fans oh that's such a good good question i wouldn't even class you guys as fans like you guys are all my friends i just feel like with you guys you guys accept me for who i am i love to like slay like i love to do my makeup all glamorous dress up nice take some good ootds but then half of me is like the most silliest craziest person ever like whatever i say in my mind i just freaking spit out. it's just so crazy to think like a year ago i used to be so shy i never used to even talk on snapchat and now like you guys love me on snapchat that's where i get the most interaction with you guys and i feel like on snapchat people have to actually physically click on your name there's so many people that add you or whatever but the people that actually watch my snapchats and you guys know that they're long as well and you guys just want to know about more of my day and you guys want to know more about Gwang and more about coco and my sister and when i upload something i'm like oh my god i can't believe like 500 people watched that in like one second you know, it's just crazy it blows my mind so do i have any more trips planned this year would i come to usa anytime soon and then can i do a video on how i pose for instagram pictures <laughs> Leave a comment down below if you want to see how to pose, how to slay for Instagram photos and stuff like that. Oh my god, fuck this earring, man. Just fuck it. Get out of here. I'm going to have one earring for the rest of this video because I don't give a shit. I don't have any more trips planned as of yet, but I do want to plan to go to Dubai for me and Grang's nine year anniversary. So our nine year anniversary is on the 9th of September. So we want to be in Dubai. I don't know why I've had this thing with Dubai. I've always wanted to go there, but I feel like when you go to Dubai, you need a bit of money. But I really, 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 really want to go to the USA. I don't know if I should do the West Coast or East Coast. I have no idea, but I really want to go to New York. Grang doesn't really want to go to New York. He wants to go to more of like LA, side i really would love to go to florida as well like florida and like do all the universal studios that's where i would want to go if i could go anywhere forget freaking australia i would want to go to florida and go to all the disney parks so one of my followers priyanta pre pranitha 
Oh, I'm so sorry if I'm butchering your name, girl. I love you so much. Thank you always for messaging and commenting on everything. I love you. If you were granted the power of invisibility for one day, what would I do? I really want to follow like either Jeffree Star, Jackson Hill, or Nikki Torres around as like a secret shadow for the day. Just see what they get up to because I know their life is like so fun and interesting. And they have so many amazing cool projects, but I would love to see what it's like to be behind the scenes. Okay, guys, so that's it for my Q and A. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm literally sweating my titties off, so I'm gonna head off now. So if you guys have any more questions, comment them down below, and I'll be sure to do a few more of these in the future as well maybe i'll do like themed one as well because i love talking about other stuff except for makeup you know i could talk about relationship advice family advice you know all that kind of stuff so if you have any questions for me comment them down below and i'll be sure to answer them in the next video please make sure you're following me on all my social media platforms it's just x tweely on snapchat twitter instagram and facebook yes so i'll see you guys in my next video make sure you guys subscribe okay hit the little notification bell before you leave YouTube. Sorry. You better. I need to work. Why is that freaking laptop even off? I thought you've been working the whole time. You get to interact with all them now. Stop piping up. Be quiet and work, minion. My hair is looking like a bird's nest. Oh, my earring, girl. I have this thing. I don't know why, but the earring, the butterfly, freaking fall off my ear. I think I have a really fat, wide ear. Oh my god, I don't know how to pronounce anyone's names. What animal would you like to be turned into, Gwen? A pig, why? So I can eat you for breakfast as bacon. Warm? It's okay. I wouldn't say that's my favourite. Spring rolls? No. What? Who are you, girl? <laughs> oh, well, my earring keeps falling out. Well, forget about that. Don't add that bin. TV's gonna shut off. That's how much I've been talking for. Jesus! Oh my god, it's gonna shut off. No! Any button? Is there any button? Please select okay. What's okay? You're not following me on Facebook? What kind of boyfriend are you?